Eleven people are dead in southeast Texas, ten of them in the greater Houston area, after tornadoes hit six counties today. Mobile homes were hit the hardest, with eight of the Houston area deaths occurring in those structures. Electricity is still out in thousands of homes, and it may be two or three days before power is fully restored. A complete weather wrap-up and other news coming up next here on Eyewitness News Tonight. Introducing Nissan, the all-new trucks at your Datsun dealer. One heck of a truck. Nissan wraps the bed in double steel walls. And seats one, two, three. One heck of a truck. Nissan with the biggest payload and the most powerful standard engine in its class. Nissan. Hurry, 9.9% truck financing continues for a limited time at Datsun dealers. Monday on the 3 o'clock Million Dollar Movie. You said all 1,400 prisoners. Your wife and baby are on that transport. We are attacking the Shinaru. Relentless pursuit through uncharted frontiers of high adventure. Glenn Ford stars in the exciting Torpedo Run, Monday's 3 o'clock million dollar movie on 13. I know what you're thinking. Did he fire six shots or only five? Well, to tell you the truth in all this excitement, I've kind of lost track myself. But being this is a 44 Magnum, the most powerful handgun in the world, and would blow your head clean off, you've got to ask yourself one question. Do I feel lucky? Clint Eastwood is a tough, relentless cop in Dirty Harry, Friday night at 10.30 on 13. Number one in Texas. 13 Eyewitness News with Dave Ward. Bob Allen has sports. Weather with Ed Brandon and Action 13's Marvin Zindler. Now, 13 Eyewitness News tonight. Good evening, friends. The past 20 hours in the Houston area have been violent ones with Mother Nature dishing out about the worst she has to offer. Ed Brandon's been keeping an eye on things. He's going to update us now on any severe weather still in the area. Ed? Well, Dave, we're happy to say that at this moment there is no severe weather in the area. A flash flood watch, however, remains in effect for the Houston metropolitan area and for much of south and southeast Texas. Drainage systems have been taxed to the maximum today because of all the heavy rainfall. The ground is saturated. Any additional rainfall would not be able to saturate the ground and therefore would cause flash flooding. We have reason to be encouraged by looking at eyewitness radar. Radar scanning tonight on the long range. We are picking up continuing heavy thunderstorm activity in the extreme northwestern Gulf of Mexico and the southwestern corner of Louisiana, but all of the rainfall that has fallen in the Houston area has come at us from the west. Right now there is no rain west of Houston that is strong enough to cause serious problems. We hope that situation continues through the night. There is no way we can guarantee that situation will continue, so we will keep monitoring it, and we'll have more to report on the weather later in this newscast. Okay, Ed, yeah, thank you. The latest victim claimed by today's massive storms was in the Beaumont area. Officials say a twister struck the terminal building at the Je Jefferson County Airport in Nederland at about 3.30 this afternoon. A portion of the terminal building behind the snack bar area was heavily damaged. Several planes were flipped over by the high winds. One of them was a Metro Airlines commuter plane. One man was killed. Department of Public Safety officials say tonight that man's identity still is not being released. Some of the worst hit areas in the Houston area were mobile home parks. One of the ten of, of the ten victims killed, eight of them were residents of mobile homes. Around the Crosby area, one mobile home park was hit twice by tornadoes within a 12-hour period. Van Hackett has that story. The extent of the damage at the Crosby Estates trailer park is apparent from Sky I-13. At least 10 trailers were destroyed, flattened by the tornadoes, with many more suffering varying degrees of damage. Here at Crosby Estates, not one but two tornadoes hit. Many of the residents were just cleaning up from the first one, which rousted them out early in the morning when they saw a second one headed their way. Well, we've been cleaning up all day, and then here it comes again. Tell me about the second one. Uh, well, I'm, I saw it coming. You know, and so we left. We got, well, there was about five vehicles, and we all, you know, we just followed each other, and we went that, towards Liberty, and we ran into it, so we turned around and come back, and by the time we got back, it was already hit again. Terrible. But thank God we're all okay, though. 
One of those who did not leave when the second tornado hit about two in the afternoon was a 27-year-old woman with two children. Her body was pulled from the wreckage of her trailer and identified later by a grief-stricken neighbor. The grief was compounded for these children when the afternoon school bus dropped them off, and they discovered their home, which had been spared by the morning tornado, was destroyed by the afternoon storm. Meanwhile, other residents either numbly surveyed the remains of what had been their homes or tried to salvage what little remained. In Indian Shores, just north of Crosby, only one trailer was flattened by the tornado, but a woman who had been in it and the four small children she had been babysitting with were taken to Northeast Hospital in Humble. This little girl was found under the refrigerator. Medical personnel tried to comfort her and her brother while trying to find out who they were and where to contact their mother. Their efforts proved fruitless, but at least the children had survived a feat many people were thankful for this day. Van Hackett, Eyewitness News. This is Elma Barrera. Tonight in the city of Crosby itself, residents consider themselves lucky they're alive. The tornadoes meandered around the tiny town in every direction. There was some form of destruction almost everywhere. Whole buildings were torn apart. Others had roofs ripped off. The tornadoes had indeed left their mark. One of the town's main characteristics, tall and beautiful pine trees, worked against the town this time. Many of the trees fell on top of homes. Channel 13 photographer Rick Rodriguez was one of those victims. Surprisingly, Main Street was left unscathed, although the power went off in the early morning hours and by late this evening still had not been restored. The town and the shopping malls were abandoned as residents took refuge in the darkness of their homes or with relatives out of town. Residents here will have to endure still one more test by nature. The power won't be restored for the next two to three, maybe four days. So all the cleanup jobs will have to be done in daylight. And businesses will remain closed. From Crosby, this is Elma Barrera, Eyewitness News. Tom Cook, near Prairie View. Where you at, baby? The twister roared in, said one Prairie View resident, sounding like a jet engine in the backyard. When the winds roared out, 15 of 19 mobile homes in this park were leveled, and 15-year-old Danny Rao was dead. At least five other people are injured. I don't know how we got out in it that we did, but we were laying out in the front yard. The winds tore at nearby Prairie View A&M, causing minor damage, but enough to call off classes today. The twister also unleashed its mighty fury at this mobile home park four miles south of Brenham. When the winds had moved on, 22-year-old Marsha Muma was dead. Five other people were injured and eight homes were destroyed. Authorities say the woman bled to death after being badly cut and pinned inside her trailer. Such was the devastation at the two parks that authorities described the hundreds of downed trees and power lines as minor damage. <laughs> West of Brenham, the twister toppled this chicken house, killing 3,000 hens and causing damage of $90,000. Authorities are warning area residents it may be several hours before power is finally restored. Near Brenham, Tom Cook, Eyewitness News. Liberty County to the northeast of Houston also caught much of the fury of the violent storm system. 63-year-old Eugene Walker asleep in his mobile home just south of Liberty when the high wind sent a tree smashing down on it. Walker was killed instantly. And though most of the weather violence swept to the north of Houston, Harris County did get its share of the deadly storm, and Melanie Lawson has more. I didn't have any warning. The first thing I knew, the dog, the lights went out, the dog came over and whined once and done everything. Just start moving. The parents and an 18-year-old son escape. 13-year-old Glinda McCoy is trapped in the wreckage. Rescue workers try for hours to free her as residents pray for the best. But finally, she's located, and the news is not good. But even as residents mourn, there is still marvel that so many lived to tell of the disaster. Now they say there is much work to do, and despite the tragedy, even more to be thankful for. In Northwest Harris County, Melanie Lawson, Eyewitness News. Here's the list of known deaths in the Houston area from today's tornadoes. Most of these killed were in mobile homes that were ripped apart by the extreme low pressure generated by tornado funnels. One death was from drowning, the other was caused when a tree crashed into the bedroom of a Houston home. While the storm victims trying to pick up the pieces tonight, area utility companies are tonight trying to restore service as fast as possible. We'll take a look at that story and more next on Eyewitness News Tonight.
Remember when quality meats were yours for the choosing every day of the week? Remember when your butcher was proud of the meats he sold? Well, that's the way it is at Wine Garden today. Top quality meats at low prices, personally for you. And Wine Garden Red Dot Specials this week include Wine Garden Old Fashioned White Bread, three one pound loaves for only a dollar, and sweet vine ripe cantaloupe, only 59 cents each, and fresh ground beef, only 99 cents a pound. Yours today at Wine Garden. Wouldn't it be cool to tempt you with a great big juicy whopper after Burger King is closed? Aren't you heartless. Absolutely heartless. Aren't you hungry? Sure makes you wish Burger King was still open, doesn't it? Well, most Burger King drive throughs are now open past midnight. Aren't you hungry for Burger King now? We're waiting up for you. Spent a fortune on a computer. Know what I found out? I hate computing. Computing? I love it. <laughs> I hate it. It's terrific. Oh, <laughs> she loves it. Computing? <laughs> Why spend a fortune to find out how you feel about computing when you can do it on a Timex Sinclair 1000 for $49.95? Who knows? You might love computing, or maybe not. A Timex Sinclair 1000. I thought I'd hate it, but. Ta da! K-I-L-T, FM 100, promise number four. No clutter and clatter, just continuous country use. We've kept our promise. In other storm-related news tonight, damage to the Scarborough Senior High School is being estimated at a half million dollars. That school in the northwest part of the city was closed all day after what is believed to have been a twister, picked up a temporary building and slammed it into the main building early this morning. High winds also blew out part of the wall and windows on the back side of the school. That's the only report we have of serious damage to a school in the Houston district. A little farther to the north, about $15 million damaged onto aircrafts at, at Hooks Airport today. Hardest hit were hangars on the southeast side. Those belonging to the Hartigan Aviation Company were literally blown away. Five aircraft inside were damaged, including a Falcon jet valued at about $3.5 million. Altogether, nine aircraft received serious damage. Four of them tonight are being considered total losses. Thousands of Houstonians aren't able to watch Eyewitness News tonight because their power is still out. Jamie O'Rourke tells us that some may be living without any electricity until Monday. At one point today, some 200,000 HL&P customers were without power. These workers have answered calls from around 49,000 of those customers since 8 o'clock this morning. And those are just the calls received at this central district office. Close to 200 people are manning these phones overnight. Normally, there'd be only 40 on duty. Field crews are working 24-hour days to restore power. But even at that rate, HL&P officials say it may be Monday before all customers have electricity again. In the meantime, priority attention is being given to the situations that may be life-threatening. All right, we have a number of customers that we consider to be uh, critical customers who are on life support systems, such as iron lungs. If for any reason we're unable to get them on pretty quickly, we will take a generator to their house and, and try to give them some kind of a special hookup so their life support system can continue to operate. Downed sparking power lines are priority as well. Meanwhile, what natural gas problems the storms caused were reportedly corrected hours ago. Telephone service, on the other hand, is still unavailable to about 5,000 Houstonians. Ma Bell hopes to have those lines back in order by Sunday. Jamie O'Rourke, Eyewitness News. Well, the Astros had a little bit of a power outage tonight up in Pittsburgh. Here's Bob Allen to tell us about it. Yeah, they did, and a pitching outage, too. Bob Nepper, not a good night at all for him. Astros lose it again. We'll tell you what happened in just a minute. My partner and I were on assignment investigating the lettuce shortage. What do you see? I see people, and they're eating our lettuce with Seven Seas Viva Italian dressing. Is it true about the top? Absolutely. The exclusive shaker top keeps the delicate herbs and spices in Seven Seas Viva Italian perfectly blended, shake after shake. So, it really is true. Oops. <laughs> with Seven Seas Viva Italian, our lettuce shortage may never end. Hi, I'm Steve Wynn, and I run this great place. The Golden Nugget of Atlantic City. Part of the fun of this job is that I get to enjoy the beautiful restaurants and the marvelous food 
just like you do. But the real magic of this place, the Golden Nugget, is the way the people that work here treat all the people that come here. Which way is the showroom? Thanks, Captain. Captain. The Norelco Rototrack Razor, the exclusive patented twin action shaving system that shaves as close as a blade. Inside, three floating heads. Rototract works like twin blades to grip hair, raise it up, then razor it off without a nick or cut. Hundreds of times a second for a shave no razor can beat. Give the gift of a close shave, the exclusive twin action Rototract razors, only from Norelco. A bank doesn't carve out a reputation just on the traveler's check it carries. But the traveler's check it carries can tell you a lot about a bank. At University Savings, we carry just one traveler's check, the one rated best by people who carry traveler's checks. We have a solid commitment to offering you the best of everything. So when it comes to traveler's checks, we offer nothing but American Express, the best of everything. At University Savings, like your bank used to be, only better. Free River Stadium, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania Astros opening up a weekend stand with the Pirates. Let us go to the third inning. Not good for Bob Nepper. Here is why. To begin with, Dale Barra at the plate. Up, up, and away it goes over the left field fence. Gene Tennis on base, three to, uh, two to nothing. Pirates take the lead. Nepper not real thrilled with his performance tonight, and good reason for that. Lee Mazzilli then singles in Matlock. And makes it three. Matlock singles in Mazzilli, three to nothing. Nepper walks in another run. Astros lose it four to three. On the scoreboard tonight, Dave Concepcion's grand slam helped the Reds by the Cubs. The Expos beat the Giants at the Vet. The San Diego shut out Philadelphia. Excuse me. Steve Carlton took the loss in that one. The New York Mets beat the Los Angeles Dodgers four to nothing. Atlanta over St. Louis nine five. In the American League, it was Baltimore, uh, Toronto over Baltimore, and Boston beat Minnesota ten to four. In Detroit, Raiders Rangers beat the Tigers. Larry Parrish with a three run homer, and Chicago leads Kansas City eight five. That one in the seventh inning. Glad we're finished with that. To the San Antonio Hemisphere Arena, Game 6 of the NBA Western Conference playoffs at halftime. Lakers are leading the San Antonio Spurs 64-55. Lakers leading the series three games to two. Word we get out of New York is that negotiations between the Rockets and Tommy Heinsohn are not as smooth as was first expected. At the moment, they are pretty far apart dollar-wise. Rockets are supposed to get Heinsohn's answer on their offer tomorrow, and that answer will be no. It will be up to the Rockets to counter-offer. From the heavyweight title fight in Las Vegas, the holmes Witherspoon fight has not yet started, but the Weaver-Dokes fight, the WBA fight for the heavyweight championship is over. It went 15 rounds. It ended up what they call a very controversial draw. So Michael Dokes is still the WBA heavyweight champion. At the Oiler Mini Camp, it's underway for the weekend. The rain today forced them to seek shelter at the Dome. Unlike most minicamps, this one will have no rookie holdouts. Penn State tight end Mike McCloskey is not here, but that's because his sister's getting married. But number one pick, Bruce Matthews of USC, and number two pick, Harvey Salem of California, are on hand. Salem's still looking for the guy who said he isn't mean enough. I don't know who exactly started that, but I'd like to meet up with him sometime. <laughs> I'm patient with my violence. I'm not just out of control violent. The most impressive new body in camp is that of Notre Dame fullback Larry Moriarty. He has just done exceptionally well in all the, in all the weight drills along with the jumping. He, I think he did a jump reach of something like 38 inches, and that's, that's a phenomenal jump. I'm willing to take any role. I just want to play. I, I did real well in special teams in Notre Dame. And if they want to play special teams, I'll be playing special teams. I just want to play. Elvin Bethay is back for another season. He is already a casualty with a muscle pull. Some of the veterans appear to have reported in pretty good off-season shape. And then there's Dave Casper. How do you like Casper's body? <laughs> <laughs> He's a Notre Damer. He's good. <laughs> From the Astrodome, Tim Melton, Eyewitness Sports. Okay, Tim. Holmes and Witherspoon due to start in about 10 minutes out in Las Vegas, David. Okay, thank you, Bob. Let's look at the weekend weather picture and find out what's popping out there right now. Here's Ed Brandon. Right now, nothing is popping, and we hope it continues that way. We will take a look at it and give it our best shot when we come back. Watch what happens when you pour a one-pound vacuum-sealed package of new community coffee into anyone else's one-pound can. See? It's overflowing. Community gives you more coffee. 
Now watch how community overflows with flavor. Mm, delicious. Community is 100% pure coffee. So you not only get more coffee, you get more coffee flavor. Mm. Try new community coffee. It's overflowing with flavor. Who can get a damn and body? You can get a damn and body. Your body can be a damn and body. My body can be a damn and body. Who can? You can get a damn and body. Wow. Start an exercise and low calorie eating plan with Dan and Yogurt part of it. Dannon is the one leading fruit yogurt that's not only low fat, but all natural, with no added coloring or preservatives. Who can, you can get it, anybody? Wow! Imagine winning the World Series four years in a row, or the Super Bowl. It's pretty tough to do. Well, Eastern's won a championship four straight times. The airline championship. For the fourth year in a row, we've flown more passengers than any other airline in the free world. More than United, American, or TWA. That's earning your wings. So next trip, fly with Eastern and fly with the champ. We're Eastern, America's favorite way to fly. Warning, summer's here and some like it hot. Brilliantly bare, sleek and sensual swimwear at Foley's. Famous names like Michael Volbrock, Bill Blass, Reed, Catalina, Jansen, Cole, OP, Sassafras, Dippers, and more. Time to start a heat wave at Foley's. Okay, let's check on the weather picture, see if this... Uh, by the way, Ed, I forgot to mention that the folks down in... Uh, uh, where are they having the big Veterans Day parade tomorrow? Clute. Big That's where it is. Clute, of course. At 11 o'clock in the morning, and they say they're going to have their parade regardless of what you say. So Those folks down in the greater metropolitan Clute, Lake Jackson, Freeport area, yeah. you just can't stop them. That's true. All That's right. True. Well, we hope we won't stop them tomorrow morning with rainfall. Let's start with a look at a color-enhanced satellite photograph of Texas taken early in the afternoon or in the middle of the afternoon. And at that time, the brightest white showing up on this color-enhanced satellite photograph was right over the eastern portion of Texas. That is where the very heavy rainfall was occurring. There was at that time shower activity from New Mexico just to the northwest of the Texas Panhandle and on up into Kansas tonight. That has moved into the Texas Panhandle. There's quite a bit of rain over in the eastern part of the United States. We haven't had time to concentrate on the rest of the country, but there has been severe weather in the central Gulf Coast states as well as here in the northwestern Gulf of Mexico. We have a time-lapse radar sequence that shows you the weather situation as it was this afternoon. We start out on the long range at 3 o'clock. At 6.30, this sequence will shift to the close Close range, there we go, and continue until 9.30 tonight, and you get a very good picture of the last of the uh, latest area of thunderstorms. Once again, at 3 o'clock this afternoon, very heavy rains moving to the north of Houston. At 6.30, it cuts to the close range, and the thunderstorm activity moves on into the southwestern corner of Louisiana, and that's where it is right now. Let's switch to live radar. We're still scanning this time on the long range, picking up heavy thunderstorm activity right on the coast of Louisiana in the extreme northwestern Gulf of Mexico that extends onshore up into Calcasieu Parish, and many of the parishes in the southwestern corner of Louisiana are under a flash flood warning and thunderstorm warning at this hour. There is also some rather heavy thunder shower activity, possibly even thunderstorm activity, to the southeast of Lufkin, but nowhere near as heavy as what moved through Houston last night and during the daytime today. Elsewhere in southeast Texas, scattered light rain. As a matter of fact, there's a rain shower here at Channel 13 right now. It's raining at Houston Intercontinental Airport also, but compared to what we've had earlier, absolutely nothing to be concerned with. What we are watching very carefully is this area out in here. Last night's rainfall and this earlier this morning's rainfall began in the hill country to the west of the Austin San Antonio area and moved in an east northeasterly direction sometimes in an east southeasterly direction toward us. Right now there is nothing to the west of us that threatens us so right now we're going to say we're in a safe situation we only hope it will continue that way. Our low temperature this morning, by the way, was 66 degrees. Actually, it wasn't this morning. It was at 4 this afternoon. Our high was this morning at 930, uh, 73 degrees. We had 2.46 inches of rain.
seen officially at Intercontinental Airport. Some parts of town got a lot more. They had, for example, over uh, five inches in College Station just to the northwest of us. At Intercontinental Airport at 10 o'clock, it's still 66, 64 downtown, 66 at Hobby. The barometer is steady. Winds are northerly at 17, northeasterly at 17, gusting to 26. There's still plenty of humidity in the air to fuel thunderstorms, 93%. This satellite photograph taken at 9 o'clock tonight shows thunderstorms in the southeastern corner of the Texas Panhandle, extending up into western Oklahoma. That activity generally moving in an east, possibly a northeasterly direction along this cool front. There is still a warm front right over the Houston-Galveston area. That's serving to lift moisture that comes up from the Gulf of Mexico, and upper-level impulses are moving across the central part of the state to cause the actual thunderstorm activity. But once again, the heaviest activity is to the east of us and is headed away from us, and boy, are we glad. But there's a possibility that more could occur. As a result of that, a flash flood watch remains in effect. Southeast Texas is saturated from today's rains and will experience flooding if significant rainfall returns. If you live in a flood-prone area, you should remain alert for changing weather weather conditions. If you have a National Weather Service weather radio, tonight would be a good night to give it a test. The Galveston Bay forecast calls for choppy water, southeasterly winds 15 to 20 knots. The beach water temperature is 75. Offshore, seas will run 5 to 7 feet, winds southeasterly 15 to 20 knots. And the forecast for the weekend for us, a 90 percent chance of rain tomorrow. Cloudy skies, a high temperature of 78. The rain chance drops to 30 percent tomorrow night. Winds will be variable. On Sunday, we're going to hope this all passes with a 30 percent chance of rain in the morning, a high of 85 under partly cloudy skies in the afternoon, and it'll continue nice through Monday. Anything pushing all this stuff on out of here, or is it that Not front yet. still stationary? We would, we would welcome that cold front in West Texas to sweep on in and push things out. Doesn't look like that'll happen. Okay, thank you. That, well, the president took another poke at communism today. We'll tell you what he had to say in just a moment. Something new for you at Astro World. You know you're gonna have a good time. Feel yourself smile. Come away with us. Come away with us to Astro World. Because your brightest day has just begun. Come on, escape and come away. Come to Astro World for the fun. Astro World, come away with us. When you're thirsty, soda pops tempting, but sugary. Diet drinks are tempting, but chemically. Carbonated water is tempting, but bubbly. Why load up on sugar chemicals or bubbles? Drink pure Avion Spring Water. Avion's natural purity helps rinse your system of impurities. With Avion exercise and proper nutrition, you'll run better inside and out. Keep your body at its peak. Drink natural, non-carbonated Avion Spring Water from the French Alps. So much to do today, baby, but you keep you cool, baby. How do you do it? How do active women keep cool and dry? I use Babe Antiperspirant. Its super dry formula gives you 24-hour deodorant protection. Babe Antiperspirant is powerful, yet it has a delicate Babe fragrance. So morning, noon, and night, babe. You got what it takes, babe, to keep your cool. Babe Antiperspirant by Fabergé. Powerful, but delicate. Powerful. <laughs> but delicate. All the homes we've seen, let this one have my vaulted ceiling. Gemcraft Homes. It looks good. Now that saves energy, too. Gemcraft Homes. Wouldn't it be nice if I could have my very own bedroom? Gemcraft Homes. Before you make the biggest purchase of your life, look for the Gemcraft emblem. Gemcraft Homes, setting the new standard. The Environmental Protection Agency's new director, William Ruckelshaus, will have freedom to fill four more slots with his own people now. Heads of the air and water programs and the regional administrators in Boston and Philadelphia all quit today. Sources are saying those resignations came at the request of Ruckelshaus. Finally tonight, President Reagan had some harsh words for communism when he spoke in Miami today. The president promised a group of Cuban Americans there that their homeland will someday be free again. And he also said communism works only in two places, in heaven where they don't need it and in hell where they've already got it. And that's the news for tonight. We thank you for being with us. Stay tuned now for tonight's big movie, Dirty Harry, starring Clint Eastwood. It's a good one. Hope you enjoy the weekend and thank you for being with us. Good night.